This video will cover the topic, solving an equation that can be written in quadratic form, problem type 1. Let's take a look at an example problem so we can get a better understanding of this type of problem. We are asked to solve the following equation, x to the 4th minus 5x squared plus 4 equals 0. And if there is more than one solution, we are asked to separate them with commas. How can we factor this equation to get our solutions if it's not in quadratic form? That's a very good question. We will have to begin by transforming this equation into one that is in quadratic form. To do this, we will replace x squared with u. And then our equation becomes u squared minus 5u plus 4 equals 0. Now we can factor this equation u minus 4 times u minus 1 equals 0. And next we will solve. u equals 4 and u equals 1. Are these our final answers? Not quite. Remember that we initially replaced x squared from our original equation with u to make it easier to solve. Now we will substitute x squared back in for u. And is this our final answer? Correct. Our final solution is x equals negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. Let's try another problem. We are asked to solve the quantity x squared minus 5 squared plus 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 5 equals negative 1. Again, if there is more than one solution, we will separate them with commas. To start, we will once again have to transform this equation into one that is in quadratic form. To do this, we will replace x squared minus 5 with u, and then our equation will become u squared plus 2u equals negative 1. Next, we will add 1 to both sides of the equation, resulting in u squared minus 2u plus 1 equals 0. Now we can factor this equation. u plus 1 times u plus 1 equals 0. Next, we will solve. u equals negative 1. And this isn't our final answer yet, right? Correct. We initially replaced x squared minus 5 from our original equation with u to make it easier to solve. Now we will substitute the x squared minus 5 back in for u. This results in x equals plus or minus 2. And this is our final answer, right? Correct. Our final solution is x equals negative 2 and 2. So, in conclusion, when solving an equation that can be written in quadratic form, we first transform the equation into quadratic form by substituting with u. Next, we factor the quadratic equation and solve for u. Then, we substitute our original variable back in for u and solve. Awesome job! You definitely know how to solve an equation that can be written in quadratic form.